Welcome to our talk on uh, what we call the, the Project 42. Um, so uh, we, we won the last hackathon in Philadelphia together with Christian. And um, I'm Benjamin. So, um, and then let's start. What is this thing, Project 42? So the idea behind Project 42 is that what's so cool about Cloud Foundry? Really honest, it's, it's about that you as a developer has your source code, run it on the cloud, and don't care how. So the, the whole thing is about the CF push experience. Um, so you don't have to mingle with things like uh, routing, DNS, and such stuff. You only have your code, push it there, and be happy. But on day two, what's left of that? It's that you, as a developer, push your, uh, don't push your code anymore. It's done by the CI/CD pipeline. And maintaining the CI/CD pipeline line can be a big mess. We know that problem from before when we put up application runtimes. Applica putting up an application runtime by hand is really uh, a problem. You have to think about things like, oh my, how to configure my uh, Tomcat server or something. And how did we solve that problem in Cloud Foundry? We put up build packs, and we uh, we invented CF push. So what would be the really next step in improving the developer's experience around Cloud Foundry is don't think about CICD, make it commodity, and don't care about that. So what you wa really want as a developer is, here is my code repo. Deliver it on the cloud for me. I do not care how. That's what we did in the, in the hackathon. And the, in the later on, now we have to think about how to do that in a standardized and reasonable way. So we don't have to mingle about, oh, that's my creepy uh, uh, CICD pipeline. It did in the first place. So we get from here, from the hackathon step point, to some good way where we can have industry uh, stable standards. So how's it looking? And there we go. So I have here my concourse server down here. No pipelines in there. And I'm here um, now introducing my CLI plugin um, for the careless delivery for Project uh, 42 into my CF CLI. So I do something like go build and install my CLI plugin in the Cloud Foundry CLI. That's it. And now I have my really cool Spring Music app, most of you know about, because it's really simple and does the case for us. And I want to make a CI CD pipeline around that thing. So what you do, um, there is some new, a uh, new CI, uh, CLI command for that, which we have to look at. Okay, it's careless delivery, so, ah, it's cool, I can shorten that CD, that's easy. And I have to bring some uh, credentials for, for the CI CD pipeline, and, okay, the app name. I can do that. So first I push the app for one time, CF push. So it's bringing up the Spring Music app for the first time. There was no app beforehand in that space. Standard Java build pack stuff. Who don't, I do not care about anything. And if we can say some words about the workflow, um, the idea we had was to say, um, first I'm gonna try to make my app work and then I need to make a pipeline of it. So yeah. um, the first step you know, is I have a new app, pushing. I make the first MVP, so I push it for the first time, that's really normal. And afterwards I'm thinking about, okay, now I need a CICTP pipeline around that, so that when Project 42 st um, jumps in. And, uh, and, and we have a first step when we say, so, right, it's working yeah. quite well. So the, the app is now running, 
So I want to carelessly deliver um, the Spring Music app. So I lean back and let me uh, let uh, Project for Two set up all the stuff for me. Pipeline created. Pipeline created. I activate it and let it uh, trigger it for the first time. So what is this pipeline? Uh, what has Project Forty Two done in the background? It um, accessed my Git repository I have local here, fetched origin ma uh, the, the the head of the repository, catched that commit put that in a pipeline template, which it grabbed from some uh, remote server, got there the uh, uh, configuration for the concourse pipeline, filled in the configuration, uh, the, the Git repository, the remote of uh, origin master, where, um, so it gets the, the uh, remote of my, um, of my commit head, puts that together, puts in some uh, the, CL, uh, the CF, um, uh, username and password, I've, uh, which it ex at the moment extracts from environment variables, and then also puts into um, the CF org and the CF space, which is grabbed from CF uh, from the CF tar CLI target. Also, um, it extracts uh, the, the manifest information from the app, puts it in there, and stuffs together a CLI. Uh, 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 a complete um, pipeline definition out of that and the standardized pipeline template. So it takes a little bit of time now because we've spun up the, the pipeline for the first time and um, Concourse has to um, get here uh, the, the, uh, the image, Docker images for the first time so it can run the, the pipeline tasks. Um, but what is doing the pipeline in this um, set up here is that it does, does three jobs because we wanted to start with a very simple one, um, pipeline template and then in the later on in discussion with the community extend that to a community standard. Um, first of all, it no builds the code. So that, what that, uh, does that mean for the Spring Music app? It makes a Gradle build. Yeah? Not much less, a little bit testing and stuff that you want to do ha have happening there. Um, afterwards, it fetches the manifest file of the pushed application because it needs some template to how to push that app in the long run. And if the developer tries something out, how to do it that way, um, if we run, rerun the pipeline, it also extracts the information of that um, changes which were done to the app in the test runs and insert it in the manifest used to repush the app by the pipeline. So. Uh, it's all, all, the pipeline is always in sync with uh, uh, tweaks done manually by the developers. So the development stage is always up to date with that. And afterwards, easily pushes the app and one tweak, tags the inf gets the, the git ref, which um, was successfully pushed. Yeah, we start a git ref to, that has successfully uh, run. Oh, yeah. Well, we. We assume it has successfully run, and in order for later to uh, deliver this, promote this to production, we will see that this, that's the first step. Um, just a, a side note, um, here our pipeline is targeted at Java technology. Um, we are detecting this from the build pack, I guess, Yeah. yeah. Um, right now, and um, we have a um, great deal of work um, ahead, um, building uh, pipelines for other technologies, um, because here we for for Gradle we have a bunch of um, shim into the pipeline to, to set up Gradle properly. Yeah, and the, the the idea in the long run is like I don't um, want to uh, specify my build pack, but want to have it auto detected. I also want to have auto detected which CI CD pipeline template I not want to use. Um, the CI CD pipeline template is then. Uh, extracted from some remote repository, either the default or something I sp uh, directly specify. Mm. Um, okay. Um, the next thing I think we should um, spin up with a with a uh, th while we wait with the yes. uh, with the rest of the slides. This CIMH and come back to that later on. Yeah. It's pretty long to to pull. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. 
So, so yeah, we, we can say words about uh, some words about the project mindset right now. Um, this is, let's be fair, uh, this is an experiment um, uh, that we've been a little bit further uh, since the hackathon. We've been refactoring our uh, wrapper sh share script into a um, uh, CLI plugin for the CF CLI. Um, but there's a, a lot to come, and we, we have some thought about um, where to, um, how, how to move forward. Um, that's the philosophy and DNA we want to put into this project. Um, we need, I th we need to, to focus on some simple experience. Um, there are really many ways to build pipelines. We, we just want one that just looks correct. And that's the way we st to standardize and, and just yeah. Um, I mean, we're starting up with a thing, so we have to start at a low point and then put together features when they are re uh, raised by the community. So we say, okay, we need a, de a de standard way to insert, for example, integration tests in that, to have hooks for that. So we have to come up with an, which something which works for most of the people, so mm -hmm. that you don't have to, to make your own, uh, own template for adding integration tests and so on. Mm. Um, so, um, yeah, we, we want to abstract from underlying technology. Um, the, the idea is to push a pipeline, whatever it's running on, whether a uh, concourse we, that we would adopt in an opinionated way first, uh, or switch to anything else if it makes sense later, um, just like um, runtime uh, in Cloud Foundry. Uh, so keep, keep this in mind, uh, we, moving forward. Um, and um, yeah, in the end, focus of, on developer productivity, uh, make something stand out, and this uh, be effective. Um, so pipelines would come as a commodity, and we can just stick to one way to um, pipe things uh, in the first place then maybe customize, but we will see that later. Um, so opinionated, opinionated first, and uh, then figure out uh, extensions points. Then, um, though we expect um, pipeline, the need for a bunch of pipeline templates, because in, in Cloud Foundry, there are some parts that are opinionated and some parts that accept a broad range of, uh, range of possibilities, which is the build packs. Build packs are uh, um, encapsulating a large complexity uh, with repository of dependencies and uh, many, many stuff. And we, we expect there can be some tricky and, and larger code base. Um, so standard and reasonable are the, the keywords. And the le adopting the less surprise principle and um, yeah, give out 99, 999 possible ways. Um, we also expect to, at a certain point, to be um, opinionated about branch management uh, in the Git repository. Um, right now, when the, we promote from staging to production, we take um, a Git rev revision, we, we, will, we can see that when going back to the demo. Um, but in the, in the resulting pipeline for continuous delivery is actually pinned to this Git rev revision. That's something we want to uh, change because what would be reasonable would be um, the continuous delivery pipeline to promote some um, golden version that would be tagged by a brand, pushing to a branch uh, or something. Um, yeah. So let's switch back and look where the pipeline is uh, at the moment. So we are now green, so we can co uh, go to the next step. Now I have a working version staged in dev stage. Okay, I'm fine with it. Now I want to go to production. So I need to have a way to, to bring that pipeline, uh, that code, that um, um, deployment to the next stage. So I start and create a space. Can you, can you show us this, the env? Yes, I can show you the env. It's il illustrating just a CF env should be ah, okay. enough. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Uh, CF env. Illustrating what I just said um, yeah. the, about this Git revision. Yeah. 
So the, the pipeline has assumed that uh, pushing that successfully, uh, there is a, a test phase also with Cradle tests. Yeah. Um, assume that it's a golden version. This is good to go. Um, so we assume that the, the, the test coverage is very nice and etc. Um, so this Git version is uh, something that works. Yeah. So we created a new space which I can now call prod because I want to do stuff in production. And now I want to spin up a pipeline which pushes this revision to production because I know this revision works. So what I do is I spin up prod. Yeah, we did that a little bit. We're open to renamings. <laughs> Um, so I want to spin up prod. I can say it, uh, deploy it to another organization, another space with another route, so we don't mingle with uh, with stuff. So I spin up route Spring Music minus s prod minus r. Um, for example, hello kitty dot uh, system dot cf dot hop oh, low is it's lab. So we have special domain for that for stuff, and run it. What's happening? In there, we, we try to to find out the the minimum settings we, we should specify when it comes to um, creating this continuous delivery pipeline from staging to prod. There it is. And this has to be triggered. Yeah, yeah. I had a reloading problem. Yeah. So now I, I bring up the, the pipeline for the production stage. Now the, se the, the commit used for bringing up um, the development is now used for the production stage. So if I see if I CFN for the Spring Music back. We can see that this revision is exactly the same we have in the pipeline here. So it's exactly like that. And uh, as a consequence, um, this continuous delivery pipeline can right now only deliver that version because it's pinned to, to it. Yeah. Um, and if we want to update, for example, say we have, have no a uh, new version of my, of my code, of my app, I want to spin that to production. I only rerun spin up to production and gets updated the, to the new pin version. So in that way, I can always say, OK, I pinned that version, I developed that. We know that's a little bit hacky. Um, a better version, for example, would be using tags or something on the Git repository. Uh, that's some um, things we did in the hackathon. We now say we have to come uh, go away from that, but we aren't there in the implementation part. So if we go back to um, our slides, the current status of the project is that the, um, C uh, the CF plugin still executes some bash code in it. Yeah? We didn't get all the way the bash code we did in the hackathon until now. Um, we also have dependencies on other CLI tools at the moment, CF, Git, Fly. Uh, especially Fly is a big problem because each concur concourse version needs another Fly has an, a little bit changed API spec, so you, can't, uh, uh, you have to be using the specific fly version of that Conquer server, um, which would in our setup be pa some part of the platform, so developers don't need to know about what to use, but use the right CLI plugin version, for example, and we have to look in that. Um, the spin up production command is some point ridiculous at the moment because it makes prod, but in the real world, you have, uh, would have several different stages of, um, in your production cycle. So we would have uh, maybe something like an integration stage, some pre-prod stage or something. And so we need some better way like um, spin up next stage and give a name to it or something. And replace um, the, the continuous delivery pipeline we have at the moment because it's a little bit... Uh, not working with a transactional model between uh, stages and um, the pinning to this Git revision, nah. 
So also, the environment variables is something we are not that fond uh, of to, to have it in the long run. We uh, either put it away to some uh, config file or have some another um, command specifying these in the memory of the CLI, mm. um, like you have with the CF login or something, or even move these to some remote um, thing like CredHub or something, so you don't have to, to argue with that uh, all along, only specifying the, the CredHub um, credentials, uh, the credhub variables or something? So, uh, um, as a side note, um, we wanted to be very fair about the status of the project here um, and expose really what it is right now. Yeah. And, um, and, and also why it's interesting to jump in right now, uh, yeah. because we're, that's also the, the aim of this talk. <laughs> yeah, we're really early in, in the project stage. So, what are our immediate um, improvements we are planning on to do? Is porting the bash code all along the way, so we are more platform independent. Um, support private Git repositories. At the moment, we are assuming that we can publicly pull the code of the GitHub repository, clone it if for concourse. Um, that isn't the way stuff is done uh, out there, so we have to support that, which means another credentials or SSH key or something, which be, has to be added. Um, then improve the pipeline templates. We call them now pipe packs, pipe packs. We are coming up with a name for that. Um, the actual one is really simple. That's not what we are um, seeing as, as what, what it has to be. It's not, not, not on a uh, quality or you, you would like to have in a, uh, in a development team. So it's an early version. Um, so, also make some other examples for other languages, so you don't have to be a Java developer to participate. And um, the project team structuring is really early. At the moment, we're only two. We need to documentate more. We need to make a contributor guide for you guys, um, so you can jump in, give feedback to us, and so on. So, challenges with the project. First of all, get a red... Or, um, configuration of the CLI stuff or get it all away, secret management, switching from pinning specific Git revisions um, to promoting for later stages mm. like using text or something. Th th there's a reason though, we, why we, we pinned this. We, we thought uh, during the hackathon that we would not make any assumption about the Git flow uh, that the team is using. So pinning, yeah. taking just a revision was the really minimum baseline yeah. we, we could um, uh, assume. Yeah, yeah but uh, in the long run after the hackathon we came to the conclusion that using something like standards like uh, a pipeline pack for git flow with Java would be a better way to, to use it so you, say, you, you pinpoint to I want to use uh, git flow and then use the branching model of git flow using industry standards for that. Um, also then producing the stages you want to have in that git flow stuff um, out of the, the pipelines and maybe even put it in one pipeline not, and, and extending that if you say new stage, the pipeline gets extended and not adding a new pipeline for it because that can be really um, crowding mm. your, your concourse team. Mm. And formalizing the standard how these pipe packs should look like. Um, at the moment it's, there's one pi uh, example but is that the way they should be? Is there a standard way so the, the, the CLI uh, could work with it? So we have uh, uh, some point of, of uh, standardization in the connection to, to the CLI so it can uh, you can easily make your own pipe pack um, and contribute it. So there has to be a, uh, formed a standard around that. And um, figure out how we want to integrate tests and such things into that. Um, so a Maven test or something for Java for sure, um, that's easy to integrate in the build step, but what about other technologies? For example, if for more sophisticated integration tests or something, mm. um, that's not that easy, so we have to have maybe something like hooks and where you have in your Git repository um, a way to specify tests which then are grabbed by the um, pipe pack. So you have a, the pipe pack has some, some hooks in, in it to, to call them. Mm, there are, it's not just a matter of um, pipeline templates. Uh, you might have to tweak a little bit more what command you exactly run to yeah. run your test properly. Yeah. 
Also, we want to get the stuff uh, to a point where we can uh, promote it as a CIF extension project. We're not at the point where we're saying that's where we want to have it at, at the start. So CIF extension project means something to us. So we say we have, want to have at least one uh, that point of quality in the code mm -hmm. that we uh, promote it. Um, but we're seeing well, a light ahead, so that's an, a near future project. It, it, there's an interest. After all, it's the, the first. It's, we don't know any other project that tries to say, well, let, let, let's standardize an interface, uh, a link between CF and concourse, or any, any CI system, and integrate those uh, in some, yeah. and think about the user, the developer experience around. Um, so, yeah. That, yeah, As or maybe in the long it. run we don't use Travis or we uh, we use GitLab app CI or something because yeah. we hire that or we inspire from their configurability for our pipelines. That, that's it. When, when when we see that the the testing the test command is is especially something that would fit into this configuration file, um, uh, and um, the, the, these technologies also have very interesting concept about encrypting the secrets. Uh, so that you can git push the, the thing to um, any way because it's it's encrypted. Uh, we, we could draw a lot of inspiration from, from those and maybe mimic something, maybe be compatible. Uh, yeah. Even for the configuration part with the, with the username, the password and so on. That could be a possibility. Um, then figure out other meaningful extension points because we can't figure out what all the things are which are needed. Be opinionated, but at some point you need customization where that's the, that's the question, the, at the right place. Yeah. Based on user feedback, so it's important that you come and contribute to us. Um, the code is on GitHub at the moment. Um, you are ha we are happy if you provide code, if you provide us GitHub issues, suggestions, discussions, um, documentation help. We are happy with all the stuff you can promote because at the moment Project 42 is two people, not full time. So um, yeah. it's quite a, 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 a way ahead for uh, from uh, for us. So we're happy for all of your contributions now at the moment. And you may ask why Project 42? It's just that we said, oh right, we could push quite anything like that. So it would uh, be the, the answer to pushing. Um, um, co containers or uh, code or functions or anything. So because, that's why yeah. it's the answer. Yeah, we don't to have to, s to stop at, at Cloud Foundry. We could nearly push anything with that uh, approach. So, any questions? I, I, I listen to you very much for listening to, uh, so far. <laughs>